I'm live. I'm going to wait a few minutes to um, make sure that that l other link is taken care of. Hello. I don't know if anybody is here right now. I know a lot of you are over probably on the other link. When I opened up my um, my phone this morning, it it wasn't there. So we have to create a whole new link. So hello, hello, hello. I'm going to wait. That's why I came on a few minutes early so we could hide dusted finds so we could figure this all out together. We're going to wait just a few minutes to see if anyone comes over. Hi, Karen. Hi, Shelly. If someone could go in and just say, she's on a new link now. I, I tried to put that in there, but I don't know if it will still um, play a part. Hello. It's been a long time since I've gone live via the YouTube platform. Hi, Bob. Oh, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary, Freddie Fines. You know, where do people in Hawaii go for an anniversary? I mean, you're already living in paradise. Where do you go? You probably go somewhere snowy. Like, do you go to Alaska for an anniversary? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Barbie. Hi, Penny, Penny Day. I'm kind of thinking, too. I'm trying to think of... Um, I think what I might do is next week, I might make these shop my shops on live on Facebook only. We'll see. Thank you, Barbie. All right. So I, I'm, I'm going to walk around the store and we're going to pick some things and then we'll just go over and sell them. Some of the things may be a fixed price. Some of the things will be an offer up. We'll just kind of do a little bit of a variety. I always look forward to these because it, I, it is so fun to see what you guys pick. Hello, LaDonna. Oh, you're dusting off your Empoleon Panther collection? That sounds like a great... You go on a staycation. Oh, to the Ritz-Carlton. My mom goes to the Ritz-Carlton for like... They have a really good restaurant and stuff there in Naples. You don't do Facebook. Elaine, I don't really either. But um, for my business, I might. What I might do... I'm still trying to figure it out. I might do like bonus sales on Facebook. So the things that I'm going to be post posting on Facebook are going to be different than what is going to be going up on my YouTube channel because I don't want it to be the same content. Hi, Sash. You went to Hawaii. Oh, and the tsunami hit. Mm. A lot of people don't do Facebook. A lot of people don't do Instagram. A lot of people don't do YouTube. It's just crazy, but I, I'm trying to do them all. Trying to ciao bella monica hope you're doing great all right well i think what i'm going to do on facebook the but the first facebook live sale i do is going to be all brooches so if you're not interested in brooches then you won't be missing out on much so helen you don't know facebook either i don't e really either but i am for my business hi thrifty hippie hey shannon i'm gonna get a little bit of a drink first and then we're going to go over and start picking. Okay. So I'm on this Facebook app. Oh, I got my basket too. So um, I should be able to, you know, the orientation should be just fine. Um, where should we start? Maybe we'll start over here. For um, when I turn the camera around so you should be able to see it just fine. Hey, thrifting and holler. Good morning, Jay. All right, let me flip this around. There we go. Okay, so the way that this is going to work is <clears throat> we'll walk around and do some little areas here, and I'm going to do my best. I'm just going to pull some things that I see people commenting on. If I don't, if I don't pull something that you have seen that you are commenting on, you can send me an email, Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter at gmail.com and um you know ask me about it then so have no fear if we don't pull it today or today you can send me an email and we can talk about it later all right so the first thing i'm going to say i don't know that I, i've got some lamps right here and i i'm just not i'm not comfortable shipping this these hurricane um shades in the cold weather so we're not going to do the um the uh, the lamps right yet Hi, Tammy. All right, so these are bookend planters. 
they're marked Japan. We've got this little dapper boy and his little girl. I like the little red birds that are on them. I don't think that they are. Yeah, they're not marked who made them, but they're made in Japan. Um, I also have a little vanity mirror there. We've got this. This is a fun little piece, this little dustpan with a little brush with a little ship on it. It's a crumb catcher, I believe. Hi, Dana. I've got some little clear glass baskets. Um, a sugar and creamer set there. I think they're probably Japan. No, they're not marked anything. These are Hager. Um, they're I I when I bought them, they arrived to me broken. So I did um I did some repairs. So they're Hager with the sticker, but they do have a repair. And they've got these like spun brass bottoms in them. This one has a little chip right there. Um, oh, I'm going to, I'm just going to do vintage Zanny. I'm going to do extra content on Facebook. So that's just going to be extra content. All right. And then I've got a, I've got some salt cellars here with the little spoons in their original box. We've got some thermoses and some artwork here. This little girl and her little her little fella love the bowl. This bowl here, this little pedestal bowl, clear glass. Let me know. Um, we'll just keep moving aside. Boop. Stay open. I've got a little black um, teacup cup and saucer. They've got this interior pink. Is the mirror pretty clear? Um, it has a little bit of, um, where it's, it's on one side. It's one side's better than the other, but they each both have a little bit of a, um, some discoloration there. There's the trim of it too. Hey, Laura. Yay. 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 All right, I've got a Chocola. There's a platter there. Salt cellars are great for morning pills. Ooh, that's a good idea. Cookie jars, fancy pants. That's a whole bunch of little canisters here. Most of the decals gone on a lot of them. But here's a little. Uh, no, the sil the spoons are if they're plastic or if they're glass. Let's see. They are glass. Little glass spoons. They look like little glass shovels. Shovels. You can shovel your salt to your stuff. What is the pattern on the platter? This is a platter that I actually had like in my own collection because I love. It is uh, Meekin. Lurzano, Lurgrano Lasting Colors. And it has like black or gray and blue platter. Okay. I'll pull, whoop, we put our first thing. We can do the salt cellars. If you guys want to do the salt cellars, look at these. Aren't these cute? I bought these on an Instagram sale to keep for myself, but then I just decided I, I don't need them. Um, they're little spice jars and they're little shelf. They're like little floral, um, canisters but oh my, aren't they fun and then they've got these little drawers for sage oregano has a the knob is missing okay the salt cellars okay bay leaves cinnamon turmeric garlic salt i just thought it was so cute with the little flowers on there and this is pink the little shelf is pink all right we'll pull the salt cellars So we could do these if you wanted to do these. I we, We've got these too. Like I said, a lot of the decals are off. The only one that you can really tell what it still says is the little nutmeg, and that's the smallest one. So we've got um, four, no, two of this size, two of that size, two of that size, and then one bigger one. And I would sell them all together. Oh, get the bowl too. Okay. 
we're going to get the bowl too. So let me know if you want me to do um, the spices. Hi, Nancy. I also have, this is uh, Metlocks, and it's got this little flower and saucer. I thought I had more of these, but I guess I just have the one. And then I just like this little mug. I put little um, souvenir spoons that I had. Okay, yes on the spice rack. Okay. We'll do the spice rack. Ooh. We're going to ginger. We're going to lay this in here all ginger. Now, there are prices on some of these things, but that was just when I had the pop-up. So, we'll be taking... Oh, there's Mark. Hi, Mark. <laughs> um, all right, on this shelf still, I just think this is just the cutest little thing. Look at this little Roman guy on there. It's like a little toothpick holder. It is made in Germany. It's Cameo, Germany. It has a little bit of little boobers up here around it, but I just thought it was pretty. It's purple. Oh, Norma said the mug. Okay. Everyone's saying hi to Mark. All right, so we'll grab the mug too. And then here's another little, a little toothpick holder, salt and pepper shakers. This is a like a fish bowl. I don't know if this lid originally went with it, but the lid does fit nicely on it. This little fish bowl um, canister. And the blue barrel toothpick holder. Okay. Seahorse picture. This. This was in my bathroom. It's not vintage. It's not vintage. It's from, I think I got it from Walmart. So if you're interested in this, just send me an email. Because it's not, it's not vintage. White, pitch, white pitcher second shelf. This guy, this is, um, Longaburger. Right? No, it's Roseville. I'm sorry. It's Roseville. So it's a more modern piece. Kind of looks like Longaburger though, doesn't it? The woven traditions pattern. This is made by Roseville. Oh, we have, have something on the inside of it. Um, something leaves. What is this? Uva Ursi leaves. Hmm. Common names. Bearberry, Upland Cranberry, Mountain Cranberry. And it's still on the inside, too. It still has whatever those are. Oh, see? On the inside. Okay, thank you, Jared. All right, so yeah, this is a newer Roseville. Um, this I brought from home. I love this. I used to have a bunch of these old paint brushes. Aren't these cool? Oh, you want me to do these, Lynn? Murray and Nickel Manufacturing Company. Common names. Yeah, this is old. Um, sometimes I can see it. it's made out of Chicago, but look at that. This is on the box. This is the label. Properties. Ooh. Oh, it's okay. It's 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 leaking out, but I probably will put that in a bag and make sure it's sealed in and nice but I love these were pieces that I had in my canister and I, I the thing that I love about these oh the iridescent blue yes Jay I'll go up there in a second is um the the fact that this was this was absolutely used and you can tell because of the discoloration so this was liquid was kept in here so somebody either used it as you know a water pitcher or, you know, they maybe kept flowers in it. But I, I love that. That's why I like Ironstone so much. Is because I like the wear and that the fact that it was used at one time. But that's, I, I love this piece. But I used to keep a bunch of, like, paint brushes and stuff in it. Like that. Um, hand brooms or brushes. Um, I have a couple, but they're mine. I'm not, I'm not going to sell them right now. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Oh, Lisa, I hope that you had a great... Do the old paintbrush. Okay. Glass can... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a seller's cabinet. Here, I'll... I'll put the... We'll do the paintbrush. 
And then let me show you this up at the top too. Jay, this is not old. It, it is a modern piece. It's like a big handkerchief vase, but it's not, it's not old. And it has um, like this teal and kind of a brown, but, and it does have a little bit of mica and stuff on the inside, but it, it isn't an old, old piece. It is big and heavy. It is a big and heavy piece. Um, hi, Rob. Okay, so the, um, this is a uh, Hoosier Cellars clear glass canister. Again, I don't know. It probably this is not the original lid. It's just an aluminum lid that we just stuck over it. But yeah, you see the S here. So this would be sugar. It's a sugar canister. So that, and this is a, um, you know, for coffee sugar. And I just put some color in there. And then we have, this is a TV lamp of a boat or a ship. And I love these lithograph pieces. Powell and Mason Streets, San Francisco cable jar, or cable car, not jar. And then this one too, this old double-decker uh, tin toy. I like that. Uh, let's see. I got the paintbrush. The picture. Oh, the paintbrush was in. Okay, we'll grab that. We'll grab that. I might have to have Mark come over here and help me carry some of this back if it gets too precarious for me. No, no stife. No stife. The 10 bus. Now, it is... See, it's got the florist and the hot chocolate Victoria Station. It's got the little driver in it. So the bus or the cable car. The yellow and orange thing on the top left shelf. Oh, the cookie jar? Okay, we'll throw this in there too. We'll place it in there. Little glass and brass stack jewelry casket. Yeah, I was going to show that. It does have a piece um, right here. This top drawer, the glass was broken right there. That's the only issue with that. But yeah, it has that, that part that's broken. Okay, I got the bus. The yellow and orange thing. This is a cookie jar. It is sprayed white and then it has this orange design on it and then this is a barrel jar and then that's what is that it's a crock 1800s hand thrown stoneware pitcher doesn't have any markings on it it has an applied handle um over here, I've got, oh, here's more of that pottery. This is the Metlocks with the, bird, the blue birds on it. Um, I've got some Borden little ice cream containers I think are cute. I still have stuff over here from Thanksgiving. There's more of those. These little guys here, a little duck planter. The Bic metal sign. Okay, the jewelry casket. The Bic metal sign. The big metal sign? Um, I've got a blue bus sales and service. That one's like, I think we have $1,700 on that one. That one's a pretty, it's not double-sided. It's, it's a metal sign. And then that was knee high and that was found. Someone dug it up. Um, hi Maria. Second shelf, yellow and orange. I don't know. Second shelf. Oh, this, this is like a, a pumpkin or an, a peach. It's a jam jar or a marmalade jar. It's got the wooden spoon. And it is made in Japan. And then I've got this little jam guy too. He's a little apple. He's a little apple with a hat. Oh, the Bic. Oh, this. Oh, yeah, this is huge. 
This is like, it's like a plastic. Bic disposable lighter. It's got a little Bic guy on it. 99, well, it says that you could get Bic lighters for 99 cents. That was something that Dad has found, I am sure. Oh, the Bic sign on the table. Do I have another Bic sign? That's, I think that's the only one I, I, I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah. You just you just find something and then we'll grab it and then we're gonna go over to the table and we're gonna sell it. Do I have any plush? Uh, I do. Um, I've got lamb chop with a little lamb chop pitcher. This is a puppet. I do have some more plush. I just don't have them in this part of the shop right now. The big plastic one, yeah. Oh, that was it. Okay, 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 good. Um, I have... This is a little apple. I think, it, to me, it reminds me of a little, um, like a double baker. I think, I think it might be an apple. An apple cooker. It's in this brown pottery. And then I've got these. I've got this pitcher here and the match. Well, it, it's similar similar matching any more vintage toys oh i got all kinds of vintage toys any green pottery oh i've got some of these girls too these little crocheted girls I've got pink and yellow and green and orange um no it's not a wood recipe box it is well you know what yeah yeah yeah, yeah it is it's got this uh, dovetailed on the side and it says Robert Fulton Deluxe, five cents. I actually think it might be a cigar box, though. Yeah, it's a cigar box. When I saw the side, I was like, oh, yeah, maybe it is a recipe box because of the way that it opens. But, and it has the, uh, it, it is missing. It's a done, one of the hinges it's not attached to anymore. It's there, but it's just unattached. But it has a paper label. There are five cent cigars. All right. Hi, Thrifter Not Hoarder. Crochet girls remind me. I know. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's look at the... I don't know what the... These are like telephone receiver things. We had several of them. And Dad had... I don't know. I just... I didn't know what to do with them. So there they sit. There's a fairy lamp. I have some poker chips. Here's another. This also came from my house. This is another piece of ironstone. I love it. I love that it's worn. I love that it has all this crazing on it. Someone even like put some glue or something on it right there. But I love those pieces. So that. Brown mug by ice cream things. Boop, boop, boop. Hi, Kellen. Oh, this is Woody the Woodpecker. Do y'all remember him? And that is the Beauregard Hound, I think. But yeah, that's that's Woody the Woodpecker. It's plastic. Okay, the Ironstone rolling pins. Um, Jay, I do have lots of antique books. These are more like Zane Gray westerns. Um, Nancy McIntyre, A Tale of the Prairies. Um, but I, I have a ton of books. Look, this is filled with books. A lot of them are westerns. I do have some um, cookbooks in here. Uh, this one's green. Northwestern Fights and Fighters. Western, Western. The Hucksters. More cooking books. But I do have a lot of like... So there's several Zane Gray books in here. The Meat Hog, um, The Good Earth, Under Two Flags, a lot of Westerns. There's another. The Lure of the Leopard Skin. I need to just have a book sale because I have, I have so many books in the back. Black Oxen. Okay, where, where have I? <laughs> 
Trying to see where I've... Um, yeah, we could do this little di Indiana glass diamond point clear fairy lamp. I I think I do um, have, or I did have some rolling pins. Um, uh, I don't know where I've done with them, though. I usually stick them in a crock somewhere. Because I see I can't even, I'm taking down the Christmas stuff from the windows. I can't even get to that stuff over there. Where have I? I, the ones that I have, I don't think are incredibly old. Hmm. Well, I don't know. I'll have to just keep, I'll have to look. I'll have to at least pull them out for next time. Um, hi, Emma. Small frame prints. Yeah, I do have. Uh, what is good earth printing date? Hmm. Which one was it? The printing date. Nineteen thirty-one. No. Nineteen forty-five is the latest print date. Um, this is my brick and mortar. I'm no longer open to the public. I just I'm just gonna do some pop-ups a couple times a year. And, um, I just, it's now it's just kind of storage, but I, I've got, you know, I've got a lot of stuff, which is why I'm really trying to kind of stay in house and do some more of these. Look at this purse, this bamboo purse. Trash cans. I've got, a, there's a lot of interesting things. Oh, look, here's glasses for Helen with H's on them. H for Helen. So, um, Valentine's decor. I will be having a few pieces that are going to be in some upcoming live sales. But I know I don't have any out like right here. Here is a some linens. I don't think that this is breakfast. I think there might be napkins in here. There's a little cruel piece there. I'm just gonna kind of walk around and I'm gonna look at the chalkboards. Yes, I do have some chalkboards. And you know what, these people would ask me all of the time, are these for sale, are these for sale? And I wouldn't sell them because in the shop I used them to, um, you know, like to say like these rag balls, a dollar, you know, I used them a lot. This one, the slate is cracked. Um, this one's the oldest one. This double-sided chalk slate here. The white hand. It's a glove mold from Baxter. It's a large glove mold. Hi, Tiger. The yellow box on the wooden table. Yellow box on the wooden table. Yellow box on the wooden table. I don't see a yellow box. That's a wooden table. Um, it would be a glove mold. Yes, on the hand. Okay. I can. I can. We can. We can grab the slates. We sure can. I might have Mark here in a second. I'll go ahead and walk some of these over. I'll grab that basket here in a second as well. Vintage baby dolls. Vintage baby dolls and toys. Small wooden table by the wall. Hey, hang on a second. I grabbed the hand. That hand was in my house. I had it on top of a cabinet for a long time. Oh, this. This is an old canasta set. I, I don't know if they're all here, but it is... I haven't counted them, but it's an old canasta. Um, new Argentine rummy game with official rules. I don't think that the rules are still in there. I know. Any wall clock. Okay, the canasta card. <laughs> Sasha's like, what? Uh, yeah, I would like to go to another auction too. That basket right there. Yeah, that basket full of stuff. Wall clocks. Um... Uh, 
I've got some, this Coca-Cola one down here. I think I, I have a, and then there's a tab one up there. The money orders. Those I'm not, I'm not, I don't really want to ship those. So those would be something that if you were, you know, coming down into the area, we could make arrangements, but yeah, everything. Thank you so much, Jay. Everything is through PayPal. Yeah. Small cobalt blue. Hi, Judy. The Fiesta pictures. Oh, you guys got good eyes. Small cobalt blue jars. Mm, I think those were over here. Weren't they? This is a just a small little one here. I thought I had some more cobalt somewhere. Oh, those are eye washers. I don't know if that's it. The one's plastic and one's glass. And the Fiesta. We're going to pick a couple more things and then we'll go over and sell. This is Fiesta here. This one is is not what did i write on it yeah just a rose stoneware picture of majolica this one is fiesta it's newer fiesta and that's all the fiesta pictures that i have I did sell one of them the big sign that big sign why don't you email me about the big sign because that's going to be a little bit more of a little bit trickier thing to ship to. So I would need to definitely would have to get you a shipping quote on that because it's going to be a larger piece. Um, drinking glasses, paper does. Moon and stars. Um, Cheryl, I do. Um, send me an email. I just got one. A, um, a, a blue one. I can grab the gazelle. I will say though about the gazelle the gazelle um it has yeah like see the tip of its horn it has a little bit of of a boober there but other than that she's great she's a great deer so we can grab her any weird stuff oh yeah i you know i have some weird like this, this ship made out of hooves and horns, hooves and horns. Yeah. Cause that when they fight, they, they, they do some damage. Um, this is a old comb. I mean, it is an old comb. I got bells. What was something? Oh, these are different. These, again, they have been used. They've got, you can tell that they've been used for the liquor, but this is, I'm catching up. So he's drunk and this guy's really drunk because he's, he's stopped weaving because he's drunk. He can't, he can't see. Okay. The ship, the, the ship who, who, who the ship. Okay. We'll grab the hoof ship. Juicer, the bells. No shell offense. No, I got shell shakers, but no shell offense today. Um, Fiesta picture. Okay, so I'm going to grab, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab the blue Fiesta. I'm going to, oh, I'm going to grab a bell. A bell. We're going to walk over here. a bell that that and i have the gazelle please slow show little's close up on the shelf oh this one over here they don't have lids that's a little apple cup this is we've got i got two of the red flower one of the blue a little star, geese, that has polka dots, and then we have owl, and a little swanky with these little blue flowers on it. This is anthropomorphic tomatoes. 
um, I guess tomatoes, cherries on that one with the ice left, the blue flower. Well, I would probably would want to sell the three of these together because they are the same. The yellow pot with lid. Oh, this is, oh, it still has a Goodwill sticker on it. Well, that's nice, isn't it? A cameo wear. I also have these cameo wear, a plate, and the three mugs. You know what, Christine D, send me an email. I do. I just got one. Cat cup. Cat cup. Top. Wait, cat cup and blue flowers. Cat cup. Where's a cat cup? I don't, I don't know what the cat cup is. The tray. But, oh, the, um, the Coca-Cola tray, or this is a, um, it's not Kirok, but it's Wolco department stores made in Japan. That'd be pretty hung on the wall. Oh, the bottom shelf, the cat cup. There's a cat. Oh, this, that's for your pens or pencils. Keep your paws off my pencils. That one. Um, no, I don't, Linda. Okay, so I'm going to... Oh, and the apple cup. Okay, Coca-Cola. Okay, I'm going to pick these, and then we're going to go sell some things. Ooh. Whoa, you went for a big ride. Big ride. All right. I think we picked more than what I thought I we were going to pull, but that's okay. Now, the only bad thing is that... Um, let me turn my camera around. Let me get all set up here. You guys, yeah, you guys went for a big ride. Ooh, see, the only bad thing is, wow, that's really close. Is the way that we have to do this now is I have to just solely look at the, um, the phone. So I'm not going to be able to put the, um, <laughs> Jeremy, I mean, I know, trust me. I'm not going to be able to put the prices like I normally do up on the screen. Wow, that is really close. I'm going to have to move some stuff around here. There. That's better. All right. So. Um, I'm not, so you're going to have to just, we're just going to have to all look at the, at the, at the chat together. Um, I will need somebody that will, um, be a bid ender. If someone would be, would like to volunteer, that would be very helpful. I just like it to be one person. It just helps keep it all, um, you know, kosher. It's just, we're all just doing one. If you say the start bid out loud in the beginning. Oh, thank you, Jay. Jay, do you want to do the bid in? Would you like to be the bid ender today? Just let me know. Hi, Linda. Did you get snow, Linda? Okay. Okay. So, Jay, thank you, Kathy. Well, Jay was going to go ahead and type in the start and stop, so that would be great. If you could do the bid end. Oh, we didn't either. We got nothing. All right, let's start with a big hand. Well, it's a glove mold. Here it is. It is about 15 and a half inches tall. Hi, does anybody need a hand? It, it, it says it's Baxter for a large general porcelain, Trenton, New Jersey. And we're going to start the bids at uh, $10. $10 is the starting bid. Talk to the hand. Hi, Aaron. Hi, Aaron. 
Hello? Oh, wait. Yeah, it would go, it would be like this. This is the right way. So I see Elisa was at 10. Um, Jean, Jean, I'm going to say it wrong, Jean. Jean is at 20. Elisa is at 25. All right, this is going to be fast. We're going to do this fast. So get your get your bids in. I'm going to start counting down. Elisa has the high bid of um, 25. Now Jean, Jean's at 30. Here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid end. Bid and I'm so used to having them in the um, chat or on the screen, so I might need some help. All right, there is the bid end, and we have I think a deal. Adelia Watson was at 35. If I say it wrong, please let me know. Adelia Watson. All right. Okay, are we ready? Oh, wait. No, I didn't. The saucy, Jay. Jay bought the saucy ones. I'm going to have a couple more that's going to be tomorrow. Tomorrow's sale. I have a, I have more saucy. Oh, um, Jay. Catworm, thank you. Jay is going to do the bid ends. Thank you, Mark. All right. So let's do the fairy lamp. This is a um, clear. Let me do the palm test. I'm not feeling any boobers. This is Diamond Point Indiana Glass Clear Fairy Lamp. Fairy lamp. I'm going to start it at $10. Thank you, though, Kathy. I appreciate it. We're going to start the Indiana Glass Clear Diamond Point Fairy Lamp at $10. The Big Heart is um, made locally by Little Red Porch. They have a website, and she puts up, she'll do some drops of her um, merchandise. I think she has stickers and shirts and hats, but it's littleredporch.com. And um, I, I, I have a lot of her artwork. I love it. It's just happy and colorful and fun and playful. Yes, Just In Case is also going to be um, in play. And I just ask, we can't always police it. We do the best that we can. But if you are interested in something and you're going to utilize it just in case, that you are an active bidding, that you're actively bidding. And you will do Just In Cases during the countdown only. All right, Carol, thank you, Maria. Maria is out. Susan's at 21. Let's count this down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid end. Bid end. LittleRedPorch.com. Yeah, LittleRedPorch.com. Okay, so I see, okay, there's the bid end, and I see that Carol Fry had a just-in-case of 35, and the highest bid was 25, so it will go to Carol Fry for 26. Thank you, everybody, for your bids. My phone is now too far away for me, from my hands. Okay. Thank you, Nancy. Okay, let's go. Let's do these slates. Um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna write this on another thing. Slate. And, hey Mark. Mark, do you have um, post-it notes? Or do you know where some are at? Is there some still, some still over there? I have three slates, so what I'm going to do is I'm just, well, I can, I can use, you got them? Okay. Just so I can, yeah, just so I can tell them, tell them apart. I need, just bring me the whole thing. Thank you. All right, so I've got slate A, 
slate B and slate C. And I'll hold them all up, but I just wanted to write these down just so I could keep track of them and I don't get confused. All right, so slate A and slate B, they're, they're the same size, but slate A is, doesn't have, slate B has a crack in it right there. All right, so, um, and then we've got slate C is much bigger. You can see the size is much bigger. It has a little bit darker of a wood grain. They are all double-sided. All of them are double-sided. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to do a, um, we're going to start them. It's going to be choice. We're going to start them at $10. And I'm going to write this A, B, and C. And then we'll just do, we'll do choice. Actually, let's, do, let's start with, we'll start this way. We'll start with A and C. We'll do the jam, one with the crack in it. We'll do it separate. So starting these at $10, it will be choice. We've got the bigger one and the smaller one. They are both double-sided. Um, I've written on these a lot um, for things in my shop. If you set up at vendor malls or you'll have to put like an NFS sticker if you don't want to sell it, but you can use them to, to price things. They also look great just as a little word board in your coffee bar or um, just you know, to write little notes to your family members and stuff on them as well. But I used them in the shop and I would get people wanting to buy them all the time. I think it says, yeah, we had goat's milk, um, locally made goat's milk deodorant and soaps and we had the prices written on them. Little House on the Prairie. I know that's where my mind always goes to. My mind always goes there too. And I used modern chalk you know, and it wipes off just fine. I usually, I think I would clean them with a wet wipe every once in a while to get the dust off of them a little bit, but then um, you can use colored chalk and white chalk. All right, let's go ahead and count these down. I don't even know where we're at as far as the bid. I think um, Kim had a, has the high bid of 22. So here we go, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, five, four, three, two, one, bid end. Bid end. Yes, Little Red Porch. Bid end. So, a high bid right now is 23. Kim has a just in case of 26. There's the bid end. So, Kim Rogers, you get first choice at $24. So Kim, do you want slate C or slate A or, or both of them? They'd be $24 each. So just let me know the, nut, the letter and then I'll write that down and then we will give, okay, the big one. So Kim wants C. And then Gaylene or Gail, Gaylene, Gail. Do you want the small one for 23? I think that's what your high bid was. Yeah. Do you want the small one for 23? There was, oh, you, Annette bid 50. I did not see that, Annette. Okay, wait a minute. Annette had a high bid of 50. Okay, Gail says no. Okay, thank you. So, Annette. Hang on a minute, Kim. Annette, you had the, a high bid of 50. So Annette, do you, do you still want one? And which one, Annette, for 50? Let me know. I didn't see it. Got my hair caught in it. So Annette, let me know if you want one, or if you if if that was a bid that you put in for the for the slate for the slate boards. Okay. 
Annette, you wanted a. You know what, Annette? I'm. That was a really. I'm just. I'm gonna give you the broken one too. So Annette, you're gonna get these both for fifty, and then um, Kim, you'll get C for twenty four. So that would be A and B for fifty. Is that okay? Everybody good with that? I might actually have some more slates. I'll have to see if I do and find them out later. All right. All right. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Thank you, mods. All right. So you're going to get both of them, Annette. You're going to get both of those for 50. All right. All right, so let's go to, um, so that's basically you got them both for $25. You got one for $25 and you got them both for 50. So it all worked out. You get both of them. All right, let's do, oh, you know what? We'll do canasta. Canasta. And I'm just going to do this as a, just a flat bid or flat price. Has a little bit of, I'll see if I can use my undo because I don't want to take this masking tape off. I'll see if I can get that masking tape off there. Um, but it does have like at one point, I think it had a yard sale sticker on it over there. So I'm just going to do this at a flat price of $15. And the first, and let me show you the inside. I don't know if they're all here. I, it, it looks like they are. It has two slots here, and it looks like they're all there, but I, I haven't counted them, so I don't know. But it's canasta. It does not have the instructions. Oh, someone drew a picture of a dress. There. No instructions, but you could probably find the instructions online if you wanted to play this. Um, this is going to be $15, and the first person to put in the number 8. First person to put in the number eight will get the canasta set for $15. Thank you, Jay. I see you, Sash. Sash, I'm going to have a lot more cards in tomorrow's sale. I, I pulled, I'm going to be taking pictures when we're done with this, and um, I'll, uh, I'll post them on Instagram. All right, so next let's do the Victoria Station truck. Here she is, and let me see, how do you work? Are you friction? I, have, I think it has a little knob. Oh, here we go. It is made by Modern Toys, made in Japan. I, can't, I don't know if it works, because I pushed the lever, and it's not doing anything. But I don't know how you make it go. But maybe I don't know how you make it go. But here it is. It is a lithograph toy. Look at the graphics on there. Isn't that great? Soda, waters, coffee, hacks, jams, Victoria Station, 25 cents. I'm gonna start this at $20. $20 for the um, modern toys, double decker bus. This would be a great thing to put as a display. Like, I love putting stuff like this on a shelf. It's just very fun. It's got the little seats at the top, and it does have the little driver guy in here. The only thing I think it's missing is the steering wheel. It would go right there. And there is the front of it. Sonia, I see you at 42. I would think that this would be from the, probably from the 40s or 50s. It does have a little, um, has the stairs right here, so you go up to the double decker. There is a little indentation right here on the side of it. But yeah, it's in really good condition for, for how old it is. There, there, it's a, it's a metal toy, so there are some, there is a little bit of wear you can see there. 
Susan, I think you have the high. Nope, Jean is at 50. All right, let's go ahead and start counting this down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid end. Bid end. Jeans at 53. They are, um, they still will post things on their website when they have a relaunch. But I'm not sure when that's, that, that is, but she only posts, she'll, she'll do like a drop. So she'll, she makes everything. So once she gets them made, she'll have a big launch and then she'll do a drop again. Their brick and mortar is no longer open. All right. So Jean, I see you at 53. Jean Norman, thank you so much. It's really fun. I've got a lot of those. I'm really drawn to those litho tin toys, so I do have some of those. And I like that you guys like them, too. Sometimes I don't pull them because I think nobody else will, would like these. But All right, let's... Ooh, we got some toothpicks from that guy. Let's do our paintbrush. This has been displayed in my house for a long time. I'm not sure what the bristles are made of, but I do believe that this is an oak handle. It does have the hole in the bottom here to where you could hang it. I just have them like stuck in Crocs and stuff like that. So paint, brush. All right, we're gonna start this at $7. The paintbrush starting it at $7. It's an oak paintbrush. Old, I mean, I don't know. Mark, how old do you think this paintbrush is? He doesn't know. Would you guess? You don't know? I wouldn't even know how to guess. We wouldn't even know how to guess. All right. So, burrow hair or horse hair? I don't know. It's very bristly. It's very bristly. All right, so Annette, I think you are the high bid at $15. No, Kristen is at eight. Boar hair brush. Wallpaper paint brush. So Kristen is has the high, nope, now Sharon's in at 19. Here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Bid end. Bid end. Wallpaper brush. It could be a paint. You know what? The, we had a friend that um, makes furniture and paints furniture, and he likes to use these old brushes for things to make them more like actual made with using actual items. I think I see Annette Mayfield had a just in case of 27, and I think it will go to Annette for... Twenty dollars. Net Mayfield. All right. Well, now let's do this little uh, picture. Um, Ironstone picture. I love this. It has these blue little designs on it. It isn't marked on the bottom, but this has all that lovely crazing and discoloration that I myself love. It's why I love Ironstone so much because I like that it was once used. Used, used, used. I I know I should. I have a lot of antique stuff, a lot of it, but I know and a lot of primitive stuff, but my heart's the kitsch. But Michael and I have talked about doing an antique sale where everything has to be at least 100 years old. This is a little under six and a half inches tall. And it has this kind of a brown rim on it. Good morning. So I'm going to start this at uh, $10. We're going to start this at $10. I love this piece. But I need space. So I brought it here. So I see Tammy is at 19 I know. I I I've got a lot. I have a lot. 
And um, it was something that we talked about doing, but I just love the kitschy stuff so much. It's what makes me so excited. But not everybody likes the kitschy stuff. All of you, a lot of you like the primitive stuff, the antique stuff. I my house is very much a mixture of both. I do like my ironstone, so I I have a lot of this tucked in with the other stuff as well. Sarah, I see you at 30. I'm gonna go ahead and start counting this down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. Heather is at 35. And there is the bid end. So Heather G, I do believe, yeah. Heather G, it's yours for 35. I should probably say, though, um, you will need to send me an email with your actual name, your uh, YouTube name, if it's different, your full shipping address, and your PayPal email. I'll need all. And once you send them to me one time, you won't have to send it to me again. But just make sure that you do send it. All right, so I'm, this is going to be a straight price blue barrel toothpick holder. And here it is. It's got the toothpicks in it. And I will include the toothpicks. This is just a little blue uh, stoneware toothpick holder. It is... It stands just a little over two inches tall. It doesn't have any chips or cracks or flaws. The inside, strangely enough, I thought for sure that would be glazed on the inside. It is not glazed, well, it's partially glazed on the inside. This is a great little piece to, you know, set next to your stove and have like when you're testing your cakes and stuff. I, I have, um, a little piece of flow blue that I keep toothpicks in and that's when, you, when you're baking you have something that you can just test the um bake the stuff so this is going to be ten dollars first person to type in the number five thank you Mark gave me the number first person to type in the number five for ten dollars thank you Jay. cat mom Kelly I see you You got it. All right. This is also going to be a flat priced for this little mug. Isn't this cute? I love that it has this, this handle with this, you know, detail. And then it has this like little swirly detail. And then like the little, the little knobby detail on the bottom. I think at once, at one time it did have a lid. Um, it does have a couple little boobers on it it's not perfect around here there's a little boober right there but this is you could keep toothpicks in this too but if you like have souvenir spoons or just like little jet jam jar spoons it's a cute little display for that so this is going to be a fixed price this is going to be uh 12 dollars the first person to put in hi mom my mom's here hello mom the first person to type in the Number 10. We'll get this for $12. $12 and number 10. I see Gia. Isn't he great back there? Liberace. You can't see the top of his head, but he's great. I see Gia. Gia Schaefer. And I'll add this because Gia, Gia sent me an email and she asked me to wait until I do shipping on Thursday. So I will do that. And that's going to go to Gia. Congratulations. Oh. Mm. I haven't starred still, Ellie. I haven't checked my email. I just checked it for a little bit this morning. But I need to go in and check. I did see that you, and I starred it, which when I star an email, that means go back to this, Misty, and I just haven't done that yet. It could turn purple if you keep it in the sun. Drinksters. That's a good idea, too. All right. So let's do this. This, oh, it's spilling out everywhere. 
This is uh, this, these, whatever these are, Irv Uva Ursi leaves. Oh, it's got, it's got the leaves inside. See there? I think it's really neat. Look at the graphics that are on this. I would think that this would probably be an antique. So don't use the stuff that's inside here. It says it's a diuretic, antistringent, tonic, nymphuric, useful in diseases of the bladder and kidneys. Infusion, one ounce to a pint of hot water. Does, I can't read the rest of it, but it's all still in there. Devil's lettuce. Oh, I don't know. Bearberry. See, you guys know all this stuff. What? How come I don't even know what this is? And you guys are all, oh yeah, I know it. I don't even know what it is. I've never even heard of this before. It's making a mess. I do know that. Oh, okay, Lisa. Okay. Uva leaves mean grape leaves for urinary tract infection. Well, I don't think that you should use these, but it's a, still a cool little box. So um, this is going to be a straight offer too for the Uva Ursi leaves. It's gonna be $12. The first person that types in the number 16. First person to type in the number 16. <laughs> Lynn Combo. You really wanted it too, Lynn. How's come I, you guys are all so smart. Smarter than me. It's making a mess. Lynn, I'm gonna make sure I pack that. Lynn, if you want me to dump it out. Well, see, it's never been opened. So, oh, Gram, Gramney, Gramney, refresh, refresh. Go all the way out and all the way back in again. Oh, it makes you burp. It makes you burp. I don't know. All right, let's do this because this is big. We're going to do this spice rack. I love this. Again, I bought this for myself uh, from an Instagram sale. You want the leaves. Okay, I'll put them in a bag. Hopefully I won't get in trouble. The post office will be like, what are you shipping? And it's, I don't know. So this is really cute. I bought this for myself, but I don't have any anywhere to put it. Um, this has the, the cloves, paprika, nutmeg, allspice, ginger, garlic, salt, turmeric, cinnamon, oregano. Now the knob to the oregano drawer is missing. Sage and bay leaves. Isn't that so cute? And the shelf is pink. And it says on the back, it's made in Japan. Fred Roberts Company. San Francisco. Made in Japan. I'm going to start this at $25 for the set. Um, it's so cute. But I don't have anywhere for it. You can hang it on your wall. You could also... The, the time that I did have it in my kitchen, I just um, set it up. But yeah, all of the little spice jars come out. And then it has, um, I think they all have their stoppers. And they're all marked Japan on the bottom. Same with the drawers. The drawers not marked Japan. But the three little drawers. But the one um, oregano drawer is, does, is missing the knob. I bet the knob was this color too. I love this. I think it's so cute. All right. So I see Angel Green is at 30. Carmen is at 32. Let's go ahead and I'm going to write this down. Let's go ahead and, and uh, spice rack. Start counting down. Here we go. I bid right now is 32. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bid end. Bid end. So right now the high bid is forty. Cranky Lady Vintage has the has a just in case of forty four. 
Oh, we got our first pew pew. It will go to Angel Green for $45. Thank you, everybody. That is a cute piece. Oh, I'm going to put it on the bottom of my little shelf. All right. Now let's do the little jewelry casket drawer set. This, the, the top drawer, I mean, you could make it the bottom drawer if you wanted to because they will all fit, is the glass is cracked right there and so you get the three drawers they stand just shy of six and a half inches tall gotta hold on to it all right so i'm going to start the bidding on this at twelve dollars there aren't there isn't a sticker on it but like i said but you could put this and you could put the one that has the broken glass on the bottom if you wanted to like that great little piece to put your brooches in and that way you can still have your brooches in here but you can still see them so they're like sparkly and it'll still look pretty in the in the drawer itself three drawers with the brass um, soldered hardware I, I've just always called them caskets I don't know. And that, that may not be the proper name for it, but I, just this, these things in general, these little glass display cases, I've always just called them caskets. I don't know. All right, Susan S. is at 12. Dusted Finds is at 13. Let's go ahead and start counting this down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, bid end. Bid end. So, Lori Wortley, it's been a hot minute, girl. Hope you're doing okay. There's a bid in. Lori Wortley got it in there. She got it in there for $18. Um, casket drawers. And I think... That was $18. Lori Wortley. I got the ovalies all over me still. I'm going to lay that on its back. All right. Next, let's do this little glass, clear glass bowl. Every time you say clear glass out loud, a little angel sings. A little angel named Michael. He sings because he loves his clear glass. This is very Art Deco looking, I think. Um, it doesn't, I'm a, I'm a, it doesn't have any chips or cracks. A really nice little shallow bowl. I love that design in it. Wait. Could be crystal. Isn't that pretty? All right, so this um, is seven inches wide and two inches tall. And that's got the little nubbin's feet down there. So we're gonna start this at $8. Crystal bowl. We're gonna start it at $8. Great, you can put your bonbons in here, your candy, your jewelry. I feel like on a bonbon kick, I, I, don't, I don't, I want bonbon. Is a bonbon just like any kind of like the chocolate candy, or is it like just like a cream chocolate? Does anybody know? Calling a coffin a casket is a North American. Yeah, probably so. Donna, I see you at 15. Lois is at 17. I need something flat. Oh, here. I got a Justin Timberlake book. Look at that. gonna help me out there you go so I've got soul I see you at 20 here we go 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 bid and Joan Griswold's got 226 you did Elisa I'm sorry 
I've got soul. I think you've got the high bid right now. Nope, Joan has 26. Joan, you got it for $26. Thank you so much. Joan got it. All right, now we got the salt sellers. The salt sellers. And I'm going to see if there's any. There isn't any maker's mark on them at all. I'm going to count to see. We've got two, four, six, eight salt sellers. And I'll pull one out so you can see. But I, I'm wanting to count the spoons to see if the spoons are all there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. Eight spoons and eight salt sellers. This is what the salt seller looked like. Just a little gla clear glass salt cellar. This is my favorite part. Are the little shovels, salt shovels. That's what they look like. Wouldn't that be fancy? Like if I sat down at dinner and they had salt cellars out to season your food, like everybody got their own little one. That's fancy. I'd be like, oh my, who are these people? Am I in Liberace's house? I wonder if Liberace used a salt cellar. And you know, immediately we're out here. Oh, thank you, Randy. They are Color Street. I love them. I just put them on yesterday. All right, so we're gonna start the salt sellers at ten dollars. Um, you will get all eight of them and all eight spoons. Obviously, they do come in their original box. You have over four hundred salts. Do you use them? I want to know. Like, how do you, do you just like, do, like, does anyone ever do this? <laughs> do they like, forget the spoon? Or, you know, use their fingers? The inquiring minds want to know. I mean, this could probably be used for a lot of different things, honestly. All right, so Carol is at 16. Oh, yes, I'm so fancy. Lori Wortley. That's my middle name. Fancy. No. Uh, okay. Carrie is at 18, so let's go ahead. No, just collect about 50 sterling spoons. Oh, you got, go to my Facebook group and post a picture of that. I want to see. Angel Girls at 22. Let's go ahead and count these down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Hi, Pamela. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bid it. No. Not posh paint. Kim is at 25. My mind immediately goes to like snuff. I don't know. Maybe people would use them for a snuff. People used to use, they used to do their snuff a lot. Maybe they, did they use salt sellers for their snuff? All right, I see Kim Rogers had the high bid of 25, but Carrie came in with a just-in-case of 27, so they will go to Carrie for 26. Also, um, make sure that you, if you want me, I'm having a sale tomorrow and Wednesday as well. So if you want me to wait um, to do shipping, send me an email and say, Misty, wait till Thursday because I'm, I'm going to be at your sales. But if, if I don't get an e email from you, I'm going to start getting it shipped out. So if you want me to wait till Thursday, I can. I just need to know. All right. Next, we're going to do this platter. I love platters. I do. I, I like certain colors. So I've like kept certain colors of ones. We got our, our uva leaves all over this platter. This one is is a J um, J E G Meekin England Luzano lasting colors and the colors is spelt with a U because that's English and you know it's just not the way we in Canada they spell it that way. But anyway, decorated under glaze, so that means it's decorated and then they glazed over it. So you could you won't worry about this paint chipping off in here because it'll it's it's glazed over the paint. I love this. 
They are actually called snuff boxes. Is that where your mind goes to, spirit junkie? Because I sit and think about snuff more than, I don't sit and think about snuff, but I think people use this for snuff. Because that's, you know, that was, you could just do your snuff at the table, right? With your, but don't get your snuff and your salt confused. Because that wouldn't be good. Anyway, this is a platter. It is uh, 14 inches long and 10 and a half inches wide. I have a, um, <laughs> I have a cabinet that I keep all of mine in of different sizes. And you can display some this way and some this way in different layers. But I, I really like this. Um, it's got this like aqua blue. Well, it's not really an aqua blue. It's just a blue and gray. All right, so I'm going to start this. Let me write this down, the platter. I'm going to start it at $12. Here is the marking on the back. So let's go ahead and say this is going to be $12. G, I see you at 15. Why did my light just turn off? That's weird, Mr. Webb. It's unplugged. Hmm. No, it's okay. Probably because I turned my computer off. There we go. There we go. G is at 20. Let's go ahead and start counting this down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one bid end. Um, I use my platters all the time. Randy, I see you at 22 um, for holidays. It's just nice to have this really fun platter. If you have a game night, you can serve your little, your orders on these fun platters. There's the bid end. And J Randy had a just in case of 37. So it will go to Randy for $24. Thank you, Gia. Thank you, everybody, for your bids. Is John there too, Randy? Hi, John. Okay. Take a drink. My grandma said never sneeze with a mouthful of eggs or cottage cheese. That's that's a really wise thing. Yeah, because that would be messy. John's at work. Hmm. Well, you have to tell him I said hi later. All right, we're going to do the Cobalt Fiesta pitcher. This one is a modern. It's Homer Laughlin. Um, this one's newer, so this is not vintage. So you could use this if you wanted to. It's safe to use. The older ones do have a little bit of... Um, um, radium in them so because of the paint but this would be safe to use if you wanted to uh the this these also make really nice vases too i put flowers in these i use vases a lot for a floral arrangement all right so this is we're going to start this at 18 dollars for the cobalt blue fiesta just an iconic um, picture for Fiesta. There is the bottom. Anchor Hawking. Fiesta. Um, the, the, well, I, I can tell by looking at it, but if, if it has a, um, and I always get this confused too. I think if it has a capital F, it is vintage. And if it's a lowercase F, it is more modern or the other way around. It's one of those two, and I always forget. So that might be something that you need to Google. But I can just tell a lot of times the colors, um, they like the purple wouldn't be, you know, vintage. They, they just had like their, their, their anchored colors that they had originally, and they've just kind of more morphed. Small F, capital F. Well, is it the small? Well, this has a small F, so that must be the capital F would be the vintage ones. This one is Anchor Hawking, also marked Anchor, Anchor Hawking. All right, where are we at? 
Elaine is at 25, but Rebecca's at 26, and Bargain Mouse was at 27. So let's go ahead and start counting this down. Here we go. High bid right now is 27. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. Capital F is vintage. And I think, hi, Claudia. It's going to go, hi, Chrissy, to Rebecca Barber for 28. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you, everybody, for your bids. All right. So now, how about this little apple? This would be really cute with a little plant in it. Oops. So this would be apple cup. It's plastic. And I want to say, let me see. Yeah, this is Kellogg's. Apple Jacks, possibly. Apple Jacks. And it's got a little face on it. Yeah, I bet it's Apple Jacks because the eyeballs look like Apple Jack cereal. Like the shape. Wouldn't this be cute with a little, with a little plant in it? It is plastic. It does say Kellogg's Company on the back. This was probably a, um, like you could send away, like a promotional thing. Yeah, doesn't those look like Apple Jacks? All right, so, bye Tammy. Oh, bless your heart. I hope you feel better soon. A bottle brush tree. Yes, I had the tiger one too. I sold the tiger one. I had the tiger one and there was another one too. And I had sold it. I can't remember. All right. So this is going to be $10. It's going to be a straight claim. $10. And the first person to type in the number 12. $10. First person to type in the number 12. Angel girl. You got it. All right. Let's do the cat. This, this, I got some memories with this little, this little thing here. This was in my classroom. Um, cat pencil. So on the bottom here, it has this green felt. And you keep your pencils. It's a pencil cup. And this is, is J-S-N-Y Taiwan. And it, it's a pencil cup. And this cat will get you. Look at that face. Get your paws off my pencils. So you could put this. I had it on, um, I had it on my desk for my pencils. Not, I didn't share with, with the kids. These were my pencils or my, actually they're mainly my pens. They weren't even pencils, but so this little guy is also going to be a straight claim. It's going to be $15. The first person to type in the number 31, 31, $15, 31 for him's angate. Look at that little snaggle tooth. Lee S. I see you there. It is yours. All right. Next we have the Coca-Cola tray. Here she is. Um, this one is a vintage one. It is not a reproduction. There is some um, rust on the back. I like this one. This is more, this one is more of a common one. Um, you see it a lot. There, it does have some rust and some pitting on it. Um, I like this one because it has all of the seasons on it. So, um, it, well, you've got Halloween there, and then Thanksgiving, and then we've got skiing, and then we've got Easter, have a Coke, baseball, wedding, girl in her bathing suit. So it's got a lot of the holidays on it. Where's Christmas? 
where's Christmas? I guess Christmas is just represented by the um, the, the winter people. So um, this is going to be, let me write this down, Coke tray. It's going to be a straight claim of $18. $18. Have a Coke. She's a little waitress girl. Thirst. Oh, thirst knows no seasons. All right. Flat price, $18. The first person to type in the number one. Number one. Number one. Lynn Comble. It's yours. Lynn Combell. You can wake up the like, people in your house if they won't get out of bed. Okay, or you know what? You know what else you could use to wake people up if they don't get out of bed is this next thing. That'll do it. Or if they need to come for dinner. So this is the bell. It has, it's a school bell and it has a wooden handle. The bell itself is brass. It's got its little brass clanker in there. I mean, that will get some attention. All right, so this is just, and this one is, it is an older bell. And I, I've got some more and we can do the other ones at another time. So I'm going to start the bidding at this at $15. You could call the whole neighborhood for dinner or for recess. It's loud. Another piece from Little House on the Prairie, right? Um, Mrs. Beetle, she would ring the bell. Do you remember Mrs. Beetle? What was the teacher's Mrs. Wilder? That was Almanzo's sister. Eliza, Liza Jane, wasn't that her name? Or Eliza, she had the red hair and she wore the glasses. Who was the other teacher? Well, Caroline was a teacher, and Laura became a teacher. But I just remember Miss Beetle. She was pretty with the blonde hair. And you, Jay. Bye, Maria. You need to watch Little House on the Prairie. Eliza Jane. She was Manly's sister. Did anybody else think that Manly was just a hunk? He was a hunk. Oh my gosh, you guys. That's cool. Oh, I love it. I love Little House on the Prairie. I have the whole DVD set. But you know, you can just watch. You can just, you know, find them online and watch it. Okay. Yes. Bill, I know that blonde hair. And he, like, would go out and, like, cut wood. And, I mean, I thought Paul was a hunk, too. Michael Landon, he was a hunk, too. He was. And I, and, and, um, what was the brother? I thought he was, I didn't think Willie was cute. No, but the brother. Almanzo was the, was the husband. What was the, what was Laura's brother? I don't, Albert. Yes. And don't you remember the Christmas episode when Carrie wanted to buy the star? Baby Jesus. She looked up at the. At the tree? Anyway. All right, where are we at? I could talk about Little House on the Prairie all day. Cheryl Little is, I think, you got the bid at 30. So we're at 30. Nope, nope. Carol Bloom is at 32. So let's go ahead and count this down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, bid in. Baby Jesus. It's, yeah, I just remember that. Okay. Carol Bloom has a just in case of 48. The high bid right now is 39. And there's the bid in. Ooh, look at those bells. So Carol Bloom, you win the bell for $40.
And I don't want to pull the other bells today because then I will get them all confused and people will get the wrong bell. So we'll we'll do them again. Ah, stay. Okay. I'm over here. Let's do you, gazelle. What else? Who else did I have a huge crush on? Oh, Ricky Schroeder from Silver Spoons. Michael J. Fox from Family Ties. Okay, here's the gazelle. You can drive your neighbors crazy. That's right. So this is a carved wooden gazelle. There is um, on the horns, and it looks like someone sanded them down because they're not, they're not rough. But the, and you can't even really tell until you look at it from the back. So here is the little carved gazelle. Oh, Heath Ledger. Barbie Sherman. Oh, John Bon Jovi. Yes. Magna P.I. There was somebody else that I always thought was really cute and nobody understood why I did. And I, Ryan Lambert. Ryan Lambert from Kids Incorporated. Does anybody else remember Ryan Lambert? I follow him on Instagram now, and I'm like, wow, you're not what I remember, Ryan Lambert. This is six inches, no, yeah, about a little over six inches tall from the base all the way to the tippy top of that one antler there. Um, yeah, I thought Jason Bateman was too, MacGyver, yeah, the great American hero. Okay, sorry, we're, we're going to reminisce. Okay, so we're going to start this gazelle at $12. Anything on the bottom? No. I'll show you the bottom. Ooh, Michael Douglas. Yeah. Starting bid is $12 on the wooden gazelle. Mallory, I see you at 12. Eric Estrada from Chips. The blonde guy that was on Chips, too. What was his name? I liked him. Um... I don't know what his name was. Jay. She's like, Jay, I don't know who any of these people are. Oh my gosh, Patrick Swayze. Yes. And I've heard that he was just the sweetest man. He was just a very nice guy. I don't know, Pat. Pat, how much does this gazelle eat? We don't know. He He's looking a little hungry right now, though. He's looking a little hungry. Tom Selleck, yes. John Schneider, no. That was Bo Duke. Oh, Bo and Luke Duke, yes. Yeah. And Daisy's boyfriend, that the bumbling guy. I thought he was cute, too. All right, Mallory is at 18. So we're going to go ahead and start counting this down. Larry Wilcox was the blonde guy on Chip. Sean Cassidy. Okay. Oh, Christine's at D. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid in. Spirit Junkie, you have the high bid of 24. Oh, Paul McCarthy. Mm hmm. But Mallory has a high bid of 25. Carol has a just in case of 29. And there's a bid in. Carol Bloom, it's yours for $26. Carol Bloom. All right. I think this is the last thing. But I there is something else I'm going to show before we go. Oh, that rhymed. This is a steer horn ship and the well the bottom of it that's that's one big horn that's a horny ship that is and the base is a horn and then all of the sails boop 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 are are also horns and it says it is made in italy this isn't as good as the shell elephant but it, this one's made in Italy, and it says, oh my goodness, genuine horn. That's what it says. Genuine horn made in Italy. 
That's what that sticker says. Well, you can't even hardly see it. Oh, Sam Elliott. Yes. Sean Connery. Yes. But you, let me just tell you. The, I think, the best looking man that has ever existed is Paul Newman. Ever. You look at, you Google all Paul Newman. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hands down, Paul Newman. Okay, the horny ship. Yes, oh my gosh. <coughs> and <coughs> he was a really nice guy too. Married to the same woman. And, oh, he's just it. Oh no, Steve McQueen too, yeah. Mm -hmm. But Paul Newman, hands down for me, is, is a hunk. And James Dean. I've always been a huge James Dean fan. Okay. So, this horny ship. We're going to start this um, at $15. You could give this to someone for Valentine's Day and say, that's my horny ship. Yes. Mark Pate. I'm, yeah. Mark Pate is the best looking man. What? You are the best looking man. To ever walk the earth. Thanks. I know you're lying, but thanks. I'm not. I'm telling the truth. Yes, Elvis. I got Elvis right there. Uh, his bust. I really want an Elvis velvet. A velvet Elvis. You know, like the... The tacky Elvis on velvet. Mm-hmm. Okay, where are we at? Uh, 15. Kim is at 15. 15 for the horny ship. We don't know what ship. You know what? You If you have little Lego figures, you can put them in there and they can be on the ship too. They could. All made out of horns in Italy. Italian horns. Alright, so we're at $15. Yeah, I know. Vela Elvis used to be everywhere, but you can't find them anymore because everybody wants them. Everybody wants a little bit of tackiness in their in their house. All right, let's go ahead and start counting this down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. Jason Momoa is single again, apparently. There, so you're saying there's a chance. I know, Kitchy. Yeah, he was. There's a bit in. Mallory, you had a just in case of 25. So, Mallory, you win it for 23. Thank you so much. Mallory Adams. Okay, so those are all of the things that we chose today. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to do this once a week. I don't know if it's going to be on Monday all the time. I might do it on Fridays. This Friday won't be because I'm shopping this Friday. I'm going shopping every other Friday. And I didn't, I stayed here this past Friday. So next Friday, I'm going to go out and go shopping. Mark's going to go with me. Um, but I might do, I'm going to, make sure that you're following me on Instagram, or on, well, make sure you're following me on Instagram, but also on Facebook. I am going to do some live sales on Facebook. Um, I'm going to do one next week, and it's going to be brooches. It's going to be all brooches. So if you're interested in brooches, I got them all laid out on the table over there, and we're going to sell them. So we're going to do the brooches. Um, the Facebook group is just Thrift or Junk or Vintage Hunter. Thank you, Jay. There is also a link to a group which is where we just it's just it's not a selling site um you can show your antique booth setups you can show your home decor setups um and so that will be but i'm i'm trying to i'm i'm gonna do some stuff on on facebook um, i'm gonna go live i went live did a test run last week and it and it went i did the spice rack and it went it went pretty good I do want to show you one thing before I go because I'm trying to figure out what to do. They're in this whole big box. Now, I don't know if Carrie is watching, but 
Look at, look at these. I have a box filled with babies that are made out of safety pins. Look, she's even got a little safety pin in her hair. But I've got, they're, I just, they're just full. There's her. And I love her. Look at her. Woo! She's got, she has got little earrings in. So this one is little Mrs. Howell. There you are, Carrie. Oh, Carrie, look, look. It's filled. It's filled. So what I'm saying is, should I sell a couple of them like each time I go live? I love, oh, I love her. I love her. So should we sell a couple of these right now? <laughs> So, okay, how about these ones that I just pulled out? Because they're different enough that I can, um, 24, 25, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so we're just going to do these. Do a huge lot. Let's just do a couple of these right now, and then we'll do a couple of them next, next time. All right, so, look... They're just so cool. So let, let's let's do it. And I'm just going to do, we're just going to do a fixed price. So we're going to do green, lady, pink, um, blue, rainbow, and black. She's in a black dress. So these are going to be $12 each. All right, so we'll do we'll do the green first. Okay, we're gonna do the green first. So it's going to be twelve dollars. So the first person to type in the number nine will get her. We'll get green girl, a little green hat. Number nine. I see Miss Pamela Blanchard. Okay, so next we're going to do pink. Pink girl. Hi, I'm Sugar Bridges. She's got a little um, pin in her hair, too. So she's pink girl. So she's also $12. And the first person to put in the number 99. Oh, okay, I will do. That's so sweet. Will do, Miss Pamela. Oh, 99. That is Spirit Junkie. Spirit Junkie. You get pink, girl. Now we'll do blue. Mrs. Howell. Doesn't that doesn't she look like Mrs. Howell? Pamela, Pamela. So this is blue, girl. It's her little umbrella. She got earrings in too, but they're pearls. All right, so blue girls also twelve dollars. The first person to type in the number ten. Number ten. She's got lace and safety pins. Lucky Texan. You know what I like? I like that I'm seeing a lot of names that I don't recognize, and I like that. But make sure, but 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 make sure you send me your information. And you only have to do it one time, then you never have to do it again. All right. So then we've got the girl that is in the black dress. I love her. She's like mysterious, and she has lace. Look at that and those beads. She's fancy. All right. She's also twelve dollars. First person to type in the number three. Number three for this fancy gal. Her little hat matches her other beads. And I see Miss Pamela. Miss Pamela's got some fast internet today. Halloween. 
She was a madam. Now we got Rainbow Bright. Whee! Okay, gotcha, Pamela. Oh, yay. That's so sweet. Okay, I'm writing that down. Hey, big spender. Look at my earrings. She's rainbow. She's a little fun. I like her. Okay, she, Michael. Hey, Michael. Do you like my earrings? Look at that eyeshadow, too. Okay, here we go. She's also $12, rainbow bright. And, aw, Michelle, that makes me happy. Here we go. The first person to type in the number four. Rainbow bright. Number four will win her. <gasps> Bob! B2 Smiley. Who's a good boy, Bob? Oh, nope, camera's over here. Bob, I'm coming to your house, Bob. I'm coming to your house. Bob, Bob won. Thank you so much. See, that's a, this is a box full of happiness. I mean, I got, we're not going to sell the rest of these today, but I mean, they're all kinds. Look at her. She got pigtails. Fancy. There's another madam here. So we will be, and some of them I haven't even unwrapped. So look, let's, let's discover hers together or this one together. Ooh, blue, blue girl. Those are fantastic. What, we'll unwrap one more. We'll unwrap one more. Oh, she's a bride. She's a... Now, she has... She has been out on the town and has forgotten that she got one eyeshadow on and one eyeshadow off. But... I actually had a viewer um, tell me about them and then I got... I bought them... And they've just been so fun to unwrap. So I will I will have some. Um, I'll put some in tomorrow's sale as well. And I'll, you know, we'll we'll sprinkle them in here and there. Because I think it would be I it, it, we can spread them out. You know what I think these would be neat if you put one on your if you put like some kind of sticky stuff and you put her on your on your dash. She could be like your little dash girl. Anyway, that was fun. Safety pin dolls. Thank you so much, everybody. Ah, so I was reconnected. Did I go away? Cat Mom Kelly, you want a sticker? Okay. Where'd you go, Cat Mom? You, you were on my other paper. I'll write it down. Cat Mom Kelly, you want a sticker? You want the? You want this one? Because I have the cat ones, too, the Halloween cats. So I'll send you one of those. They're $5. Okay. So, thank you. You guys have an amazing... Oh, wait, nope. Mallory wants a sticker, too. All right, let me write that down, Mallory. Where'd you go? You were on this other page. Mallory, okay. Okay. Um... This was fun. Make sure that you um, join us tomorrow. Well, actually, make sure you join us tonight for Vintage Rescue Squad. We're going to have um, the Danny the Niche Lady and Tiffany from Thrifting Vegas is going to be the guest tonight. It's going to be on Michael's channel, The Cult of Vintage, at 8 o'clock. Oh, thank you. He's working on his cars, his little Hot Wheel cars. He restores them. So are you painting some today, Mark? He's going to be airbrushing, but it's kind of loud. Cat sticker. Okay, you want a cat. Um, so he's waiting on me to be done so he can paint. Um, but yeah, uh, tomorrow tonight at 8 o'clock, and then tomorrow at 1 o'clock Eastern will be um, uh, J Michael, the Cult of Vintage, and I will have a live sale. Um, and then Wednesday, I'm having a sale with Danny, the niche lady. And then guess what? Oh, Kristen. Oh. Um, do I have the cat sticker on here? Mm, 
Boom. I'll go grab it. Hang on. Real quick. There's the cat sticker. Those are five dollars, and these are five dollars. So if you want one, you can send me. You can send me a, an email. Um, Friday is Lea wants a cat sticker. Um. Uh, all right. Cat. Sticker. All right. Also, um, Friday night, Barb and I are having a sale. So right before flipping and sipping, we're going to be in Jeffrey's slot. I think we're going to do it at seven o'clock instead of seven thirty. Um, and I don't know how much we we're trying to we're talking through the details, but it's going to be. Oh, guys, if you want, Stacy wants one of each. Send me an email. I'll write it down, Stacy. Stacy Heisey, but send me an email to stickers. I also have to buy some stamps too. But um, yes, you can buy a sticker. They're five dollars, and um, I, on my stamp, I'll just send it via snail mail. So I pay for the stamp, and if you want the sticker, um, Friday night's gonna be a sale with Barb, and it's gonna be fun. It's just Misty and Barb, no Jeffrey, because he's in Florida. I get my stickers from Sticker Mule, and I I have a link. If you send me an email, send and I'll I'll send you the link. You can get ten dollars off of your first order. But yeah, it's gonna be fun. Jeffrey is in Florida. Um, he's at Disney today. He's in Disney today, so he's in the happiest place on earth, and um, he's having a lot of fun. So it's gonna be a fun sale. So I hope that you can join us on Friday right before flipping and sipping. But thank you guys so much. I'm going to, remember, send me an email if you want me to wait. If you bought something from me and you want me to wait to ship it until Thursday, send me an email so I'll know not to get it ready for you. But um, yeah, I hope to see you tonight coming to hang out with us. And thank you for joining me today. Stay tuned. I'm going to be, I don't know if I'm going to do this next week. It might just be kind of here and there. Because I, I, you know, I don't know. I don't know what my, what's going to go on next week. But I definitely am going to hop on Facebook at some point next week and do a brooch sale. So until next time, or well, until tonight, I will see you guys later. Thank you. Bye.